Now, what's a target joint bleed? One of the new treatment methods we have introduced in Kerala. Every week, at least twice or thrice, we would give a low dose of factor. Good morning, I'm Dr. Nitu from the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation in Amrita Hospital. Today, we'll be discussing yttrium sinovectomy. Patients with hemophilia usually have bleeding into joints as their most common complication and this can be dealt with one of the new treatment methods we have introduced in Kerala as yttrium sinovectomy. Hemophilia is a bleeding disorder because of the deficiency of factor 8 or factor 9 and because of this, these children have target joint bleeds. Now what's a target joint bleed? In the last six months, if a child has bleeding into the same joint for more than three times, it's known as a target joint. First, we would try making on-demand factor replacement into prophylaxis factor replacement. On-demand factor replacement means when there is a bleed, we would give the deficient factor. Whereas prophylaxis factor replacement means every week, at least twice or thrice, we would give a low dose of factor so that the bleed rates would reduce. By doing this also, if the bleed persists, then we would give them the option of yttrium sinovectomy. Yttrium is a radioactive substance and we would inject it into the joint and this would ablate the lining of the synovium. By doing this, the bleed rate would reduce in that joint. Ideally, we would target children around the age from 10 to 25 because during this stage is when they have synovial inflammation but they haven't developed complications like severe hemophilic arthropathy. This procedure can be repeated 3 to 6 months and that is the advantage over surgical synovectomy which is a one-time procedure. Yttrium is a radioactive material. We get this material from France. It is, uh, has a half-life of 64 hours. So as soon as this drug reaches here in the first 24 to 48 hours, we will inject this medication. Some children have uh, some blood collected. So we would aspirate the blood that is there and only then inject yttrium followed by steroid. If the child has a joint deformity or if the proximal muscle, the muscle just above it, don't have enough power to flex and extend that limb completely, then we would not do this procedure. Rather, we would correct the deformity and strengthen those muscles and then only go ahead with it. This is a daycare procedure. We do it under ultrasound guidance, under local anesthesia. And uh, first we would inject and aspirate the blood that is collected inside, followed by yttrium and then steroids to avoid complications like extravasation of the drug and to uh, local inflammation we would give uh, steroids with the yttrium. Following this procedure for the first 48 hours we would immobilize this joint so that the drug would remain in the joint itself. This is a standardized treatment since the last 50 years in Europe for hemophilic synovitis and now we have introduced this in Amrita to reduce the bleed rates in children with hemophilic synovitis and to improve the quality of life. For more information, please contact uh, Amrita Hospital, PMR Department. Thank you.